Hey, this is Mr. Benson, and this video should give you the basics of, well, preparing a animation in Pixlr. So I'm just going to jump right in. Um, but as a heads up, you can't finish the video in Pixlr. You're going to need iMovie or um, Movie Maker or, or some other program to finish it. This is just the drawing phase of your, your slides. Okay, so to start right off, you're gonna need you're gonna need a, some pictures, and you're gonna want a mouse. Although you can do it with just your pad, um, if you have a mouse, bring it with you to school. Um, so we're on Pixlr.com/editor, and you're going to open an image from your computer. And I have, let's see here, my drive. I think I want to photos. That's me right there. So I have these images. These are all the ones I'm going to use. But I'm going to start with the one right here. And I hope this is still recording. Um, but anyway, so I have this kind of pixelated image. That's fine. This is an image I took with the Chromebook. Um, so, anyway, so I have opened the image. Um, but if you want to open more images, so I'll show you that right now. If you want to open more images as a different layer here, you're going to go to Layer, Open Image as Layer. And then I've got these same, same ones. And I'm going to try this. No, nope, doesn't look like it's going to work. So you can only do one at a time. But I can just go back and do it a couple of times. Um, rain fart. But anyway... So yeah, I've I've now got these these layers here. This is the topmost layer, but when I uncheck it, it's not visible. Uh, so you get to see a bunch of different pictures of me. Anyway, so we'll start with these top three, and I'm actually just gonna delete the background layer for now. Because it doesn't, the background doesn't match very well. Anyway, so now I have this guy. Yeah, all three of those. So we'll start off with the the basic outline we we talked about in class. Um, and this might take a lot of time, so I'm gonna just sort of rush through it. Or actually, I wonder if I could pause this recording. Okay, just just a couple of things. So I'm going to show, the two, there's two tools you can use. The first tool is the pencil tool that I'm going to show. So you got your pencil selected here. You want to go up here, select plane, and your size, I like to do... A size 3 for my outline just because the pixels um, on a size 3 they they match pretty well oh I made a mistake here so control Z um, so the layer that's visible is this one so I need it selected before I can work on it so I'm just gonna do that so with the mouse, it's pretty easy. Oh crap, I did it again. Okay. Before you draw, I'm learning this myself again, I guess. Add a layer. And that way, this layer here, you're not going to mess with it. So I'm actually drawing on a transparent layer at this time. So, anyway... 
You can see I'm following the contours of my body. This is a nifty tool if I want to move it and just quickly go through the outline of whatever it is I'm, I'm drawing. Anyway, so I'm going to pause the video there and finish it and show you the finished product. So I said I was going to do another tool. There's two ways to do this. The second one is this shapes function. You just select the line. Of course, make sure your pixels are three again. This one gives you a little, a little bit easier if you're like me and you have a hard time with art. You can basically drag your lines rather than free forming everything. And it looks a little bit nicer. Okay, so here's basically what I, I've been doing. Uh, just tracing the items that are going to be a different color, a solid color, and then adding a few lines, just outlining, you know, what what should be suggested that exists on my face, you know, I've got my chin, my lower lip, um, this solid lip. If I hide this layer, you can see, I mean, it's obvious that it's a person. There's obviously something missing, uh, but I'll show you in just a minute how, you know, you add color to this. Color does make a difference, but point is right now everything is separated even though you can't see it so uh, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna highlight uh, your first your background layer because right now everything is separated so these are two layers so they're not connected so and their reason for that is because you can then manipulate the smaller parts more easily um, and this is why I fill the color separately from this because then I can I could copy a section and change it and then just add it in later if I want to. Uh, so anyway, what you do is you're going to select, um, you're going to use this selection tool and select the whole window. I, I better do that again. So I've got the whole window selected. And you use Control C, that's copy, and then Control V, and then it pastes to this new layer, um, which you can't really see it, but it's it's this one right here. So if I close these two, that's what this is. But you want this up here, so just drag it up here, um, and then align it using this tool, align it so that it's in exactly the same spot or really close. Okay, and then unselect this really quick. And make sure uh, that this is what you're missing. So you're selecting layer 5 and doing the same thing. Copy and paste and then now this is layer 7 so bring layer 7 up okay and then you're going to move it again with the move tool and align it right where it needs to be uh, it looks like and you can use the arrow keys to adjust it if you need to go down or to the side a little bit looks like that's about as close as I'm gonna get so now you hide your your layer that you're not going to change and you open this and if it looks good then what you're going to do is you're going to with this top layer selected you're going to go layer and merge down and that is all the time we have for this actually i'm just going to show you hang on a second So just to finish this up, uh, I wanted to show you just how crucial it is to do your lines. This is what it looks like just using the fill bucket. Um, that's all for me.